What's up guys, Roman Billiard here and today I'm going to be showing you how you can play Sega Genesis or Sega 256 games in one, more commonly known by the people here. Uh, first of all you'll need to download DOSBox and install it. It is an emulator uh, and just go to the link, click on the screen button here, download now. Uh, download it and then install it. I already have it installed. The file name will be DOS emu, emulator. Go into here and you'll have all these files. Uh, click on DOS box, right click and if you want the shortcut just send it to your desktop and you'll have this. So once you have that you'll go to this next link and download this file, the 7-zip file. Once you download it, click on Skachati, Skachat, whatever. Uh, download it, and once you have it, unzip it somewhere. Once you have it unzipped, you'll have this file here. Now, what you want to do with this file is, if you have, uh, you should have Power ISO or Diamond Tools. If you have Power ISO, just right click on this file and then open with Power ISO. Uh, you'll see these files because essentially this is like a digital disk and once you open it with Power ISO, you essentially mount the disk to your computer. Then what you want to do is just select these files and put them in a folder where you want. Anywhere just a folder for them. Now, uh, you can keep this file if you want, but you don't need it. If you want to keep it, it's not important. Uh, now, what you want to do is just launch DOSBox. You can close Power ISO and then uh, the default directory on DOSBox will be this Z drive. Uh, many of you, none of us, <laughs> don't have this Z drive. So what you want to do is type mount and mount the drive on which your uh, game directory is. Mine is here on the, the, D, the D drive. So, uh, mount D, that's the name you want to give it. Uh, then D, it'll say the drive D is mount, then just type in Now you're into the drive, the D directory. Now, uh, you want to go, uh, if you know exactly where it is, the file, you type in CD, then the file name. But if you don't, type in dir slash p. And then you'll see here, uh, I have it here, DOS, DOS directory. Uh, once you know what's the directory, write CD and then the name of the directory and click enter, press enter. Uh, then again, if you don't know what is the directory, the file path, go again, it's minus here, 256. Then again, we go to CD, 256. Then again, and now you have to see here, group one, group two, and group three. Uh, these are three types of groups for different types of games. One is Sega, one is old DOS games, and the third I can't remember what they are, but play around with it and you'll have a blast. So, CD, let's go with group one. Here, slash P. Uh, and then you just go into this file g1.exe. And there you go. Then you go to load ROM. Go to play now. And choose a game you want to play. There are so many games to choose from.
you want to play another game, just click on escape, load ROM. Mm. Have fun. <laughs> 